All right. Hello, beautiful soul family. Let's spray some sage. My space clearing the energy. <sighs> I'm going to work with these numerology cards and these this is, our, this is like one of my favorite decks I'll just freestyle let's see what messages come out all right what messages from this deck, please, and thank you. Okay, Deep Freeze and Bone Collector. Okay. <clears throat> so with this Deep Freeze card, uh, let's get one from the numerology. What is this Deep Freeze? Manifestation. Okay. What is the bone collector? Spiritual partnership. All right. To further clarify, I want to know more about this deep freeze. This one right here. clarify let's clarify this 26 <clears throat> everything has its season now is the time to put activity on hold while you rest the cold winter beckons you to slow down and put a freeze on things that are not yet ready to bloom it's time for regeneration and hibernation Forgo ambitious activity. A pregnant pause allows ideas to gestate, projects to shift and change, and relationships to go through a dreamy state of being. Not going anywhere, not needing to. I think that's a key word, not needing to. Because, yeah. This is also a time to put all your arguments on ice. Nothing beneficial will come from any of them. Self-care is the most important activity now, so reflect, read a good book, or get a massage. Rest and dream. Yeah, and that has to do with manifestation, so I wanted to know what this deep freeze, what that meant. It's almost also like, calm down your, your manifest... <laughs> calm down, yeah. <sighs> it's like an anticipation... Uh, anticipation, a little frustration... Uh, yeah, so manifestation maybe feels like it's out of pause or it's frozen or uh, Actually, let's get another card for this manifestation deep freeze It's also basically like divine timing everything has its season Self-love there you go self-love I mean self-love self-love so don't worry about it like it says take a rest if you like need to just pause on something I'm not worrying about it basically it's divine timing this manifestation and self-love giving yourself that self-love so we've got the bone collector and spiritual partnership so what's the bone collector You are whole and have everything you need within. Wow. <laughs> That's just like this. You already have it within. Spiritual partnership. You already are one with your divine counterpart. So you have everything you need within. When the bone collector appears, she is asking you to look closely at your circumstances to see if you're fully present or reacting. Whew. This is getting me. Okay. <laughs> reacting out of past conditioning and unconscious expectations whenever we're wound we're wounded especially when we're young it's as if something essential is stolen from us we adapt and accept a particular version of the truth that then sets us up to behave a certain way 
In the future, when faced with a situation that reminds us of the, of the original event, what we know about ourselves thus becomes influenced by perception of limitation. You may feel unworthy or without courage. You may see yourself as flawed or unlovable or expect to be criticized. No matter what your question, the bone collector reminds you that the truth is that you are a powerful be being with limitless possibilities. She has kept safe what was stolen from you in the wounding and is here for you as you reclaim it now. You have everything you believe you lack and the bone collector is your inner resource. Act as if you have what you need and you'll find that you have it after all. Anything is possible. With awareness, the wounds of the past need not define you. Wow. And honestly, I really resonate with that for sure because I was having that experience I think in the last uh, last night and just old wounds coming up and but it's like yeah you already are one with this you're one with everything okay anything else and it is like it's telling me too the core at the core, it's all about your self-love. Valuing yourself, showing yourself love leads to manifestation and manifesting that spiritual partnership. Yeah, look at the bottom of the deck. Magic prayer. Okay, this one's sticking out. Wow! A lot of interesting. Okay, so this is coming up for a reason. Stuck in the mud is, is here. Stuck in the mud. Okay. But look at there's going to be movement. So Yeah. Give me one for stuck in the mud, please. Stuck in the mud of oh, this one. Nature. Okay, so the natural surroundings are just what's going on in the outside world is seemingly stuck. Okay? Or just the vibration of feeling stuck in the mud. No movement. We got deep freeze and manifestation, but everything has its season. And give me one for movement. Okay. Movement in moderation. Yeah, in moderation. Self-discipline and personal growth. Whoo, karmic completion is out here too. Closing a cycle. So, movement in moderation. I'm kind of curious what the movement card says. You are in a time of positive forward motion. See, it's like even though nature stuck in the mud or a pause it feels like there is or it, it just looks like it right nature but there's movement and it's like moderately it's like building up building up building up okay so this is the time for positive momentum as you come out of a period of restriction you're in a stage of new adventure and discovery in restriction, restriction, stuck in the mud. It looks like everything is really, like restricted, is, is what I'm feeling. But there's going to be movement. Moderately, it's like building up. Okay. Oh, you may feel compelled to take a trip, change your hair, move your home or business. Regardless, you can't remain where you are anymore. You feel compelled to go forward. No matter what your inquiry, you will see your dreams take form and doors previously shut begin to open as if by magic. Movement is also a state of mind. The fog lifts and you know now and you now know the actions you need to take. This isn't the time for fear. Let it go and move forward. And I've got self-discipline and personal growth. So using that discipline for yourself is part of your spiritual growth. Let's just get for fun. Let's just get one for these. Yeah. Dry desert. Mm -hmm. hmm. 
When I see this card, I think of like a vision quest, you know, Go, like in solitude, looking to guidance. It feels like you're out there all alone in the desert kind of energy. Let's see what the card, let's see what it says though. Dig deep for inspiration and truth. Now is the time to become resilient and adaptable. Oh my goodness. What is that? That's truth. Is your life presenting you with opportunities that seem to yield nothing? Have your ideas dried up? Does it feel like you're in an endless journey through a dry, hot, lifeless desert? This card reminds you that there are times when you're meant to become resilient as you journey through harsher circumstances. You're being required to conserve your energy until you're, after consistent effort you reach the oasis you're searching for. Consider the creatures that lived in these conditions. They have adapted to thrive in spite of their outer environment. In a desert, water, essential for life, can be found deep underground. Go deep within yourself now. Find your truth there. Let spirit sustain you while you locate the real source. Whatever it is you're asking about will not be found in the conditions you're in until you move past the surface of things and choose to do the real work and discover the answers deep within you. This may not seem like the most productive time, but looks are deceiving. What I say? Yeah, looks are deceiving. It looks like there's stagnation. Uh, but there, there's movement. Uh, this is the most important place to find what's truly right for you. So, and that had to do with self-discovery and personal growth. Hmm. Okay. Anything else? <clears throat> Let's give us one last message. Yeah, wizard of awareness. What did we get? That grounded self-awareness, self-awareness, self-awareness. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, now I have to look at it. Let me just look at what it says. Your soul knows best. Be still and observe. That was the same message I was getting too, especially with like, my journey just be aware just let's see what happens like just chill out <laughs> be that wizard of awareness mindfulness being observant and remaining neutral about what goes on in the world around you this applies to the environment within you too if you struggle inside yourself stepping into an observer position gives you a new powerful perspective that neutralizes any discomfort or overexcitement. You have the capacity to see things clearly now, unencumbered by opinion or desire. Wearing the world as a loose garment requires you to adopt a sense that nothing that happens to you is personal. People come and go. Experiences evolve from one state to another in a continual shifting and change no matter how much and, and change no matter how much you want things to stay the same. The wizard of awareness asks you asks you to give up your need to define or limit what you're experiencing now. It's all good. <laughs> um, let it be and watch the miracle unfold without any direct influence from you. I am just, when I do these readings, they, li they literally help myself so much. So whenever I do these readings for you guys, I'm also, it's like, assisting my journey as well and this is exact this is exactly what I really needed to hear so be the observer have that awareness and trust okay all right you guys take care bye